I'm going to ask you a few questions, and for the visitors, you do not have to answer the questions, but maybe you will know the answers anyway. Who knows? Um, can anyone tell me what book of the Bible are we studying at church at the moment? Seamus? Malachi. Malachi. That's right. Dan, what kind of a person was Malachi? Um, was he someone who was a and God told him Yeah, God, God gave him a message for the people. Do you know what that kind of person, what the name for that is? Or, Millie, do you know? A prophet, that's right. So Malachi, we're looking at all the things that Malachi told the people of Israel. Malachi was a prophet. So he was sent by God with a special message for the people back then. And what we're doing in church is we're reading through what he said to the Israelites and we're working out what we can learn from that as well. And this week he has a really special message for the Israelites. So what has happened is they have been forgetting about what God gave them in his law. They've decided, actually, we think we know men and we don't want to do that. We don't want to give the tithe. We don't want to give some of our crops to God. We don't want to do what he says because they've forgotten that they can trust him because they look at the law and they say, God, you're asking us to do some really hard things and we just don't really think we can do that because we don't know we're going to be okay if we do that. So they've decided not to give God some of their some of their crops or some of their animals or some of their money because they're worried that if they give that to God that, that they won't be okay. They won't have enough money. They won't have enough food. They've forgotten that when God asks you to do something, he's going to look after you. So they forgot what it said in that psalm. That psalm said that God is good and that he is faithful and that God has shown us for a long time, his unfailing love. So God has never let the Israelites down. He has never not done what he said he would do. He told them, you'll be okay. I'm going to say these are the laws, and if you follow them, you'll be fine. I will look after you. You'll have more than you need. You're going to be okay. But they've forgotten that. So Malachi is trying to remind them, follow the law. Do what it says, because God is unfailingly good. You can trust his love. He's never going to let you down. So what can we learn from that? Well, God asks us to do some hard things too. For the kids at home and for the kids here, sometimes following God's rules might seem a bit tricky. Sometimes it might not be what you want to do. You might not want to do what your parents ask you to do. Maybe lying is an easy way to get out of trouble. Maybe you don't want to go and be nice to the kid that has no friends. Maybe you don't want to be kind to your brothers and sisters when they're annoying you. Sometimes it's hard. Sometimes it is hard. Sometimes it's hard for the adults too. We all find it hard. But God has told each one of you as well, no, you do what I, what I ask you to do because you trust me, because I am good, because you don't have to worry. You never have to worry because God will always, 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 always love you. And he will always, 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 always look after you. Let's pray together now and then you can go and do your sheets and if you have any questions about any of this, then come and ask me at morning tea. Let's pray. Dear God, thank you that you love us so much and thank you especially that you love all the kids here. Thank you, Lord, that you have told us that we can trust you, that we don't have to worry about doing what you say because we know, Lord, that you will never, ever, ever let us down. Thank you that you love everyone here and help all the kids here to know that they can trust you and not to worry about tomorrow because it will worry about itself. In Jesus' name, amen.